But in America we've got to modernise it, make it young, trendy, fashionable. It's not for me, the hardcore, it's for everybody. Now how are we going to do that? We are going to do that by getting some high profile celebrities who look the part, who, who work with this, who really believe in the future. We're going to make, put them front and centre on TV, on the internet, and so everybody is able to see them and want to be part of that club. And it is going to be a club that everybody can gravitate to. Clubs, uh, clubs are basically a thing that people can create a connection with. Connection with, connection be, can be to an individual or celebrities. That can be to a great organisation like the ABA or Cornell or somebody else. But something that every individual feels they have a connection to that they belong to. And when they belong to something and feel part of it, they get more involved with it, and that's how you spread something. How did you get connected to the birding community? How did I get connected? Um, I'm probably not the average story. Well, yes I am. I got into birding through a school teacher. Then I got into, my club was the twitching scene in Britain. And so I got madly passionate about it through that. And then I grew up a little bit and evolved and started traveling the world. You know, then I just became a hardcore birder doing my local patch, Cape May. And then I got obsessed with taking photographs and creating stupid books. But, um, no, no, but now my club is to try and make a much bigger club and be sort of one of the leaders of it and um, get some celebrities going and back to making it really big and popular. And so that one day, instead of just a few hundred thousand people being birders in this country, that number of 40 some million which everybody talks about, which frankly is a load of bunkum, we can actually get that 40 some million in the club and be real. And when we have 40 million members, conservation, everything changes. Everything. Oh, Seriously. Thanks, Richard.